Curry, Mr. Bejeron's on. Don't forget the popcorn, Frank. Coming, dear. Towards the end of this, we'd like to talk about creating a safe box for your client that had, or for your loved one, rather, that has dementia. Some things that are in this box that are treasured items to them, things that they can have, things that will remind them of places. My father it would be his kite, because he loves his kite, um, and some other things like that. Things that they can reminisce and go through and remember and love and cherish. And at the same time, we tell our caregivers, create one room in the house that's just yours. Put a big do not disturb, or stop sign, or whatever. And when you get overwhelmed and you think you can't handle it, just go into that room for two minutes, close the door, give yourself a deep breath and say, I can make another day. Thank you very much for your time. And I'll give you back to us. That's why I love Carol DiRienzo. It, so doesn't it, it just makes you think about your house in a different way. Because you really, you, it, it's like the, it's like the thought process of a fixer-upper type person or an engineer. Because you're almost kind of looking at each room and saying, "So how do I make this right?" And and the key to this, a lot of that wasn't very, that she was talking about wasn't very expensive stuff. So for Frank, this isn't about putting an elevator into the house. You know, this is about doing a lot of practical. Stuff. <clears throat> you may want to look at a reverse mortgage. I never recommend reverse mortgages as general practice. And a lot of people will say they'd never use a reverse mortgage. But if you're Frank and Mary, and the goal of your life is to die and be buried in the backyard, and the way to do that is to make sure your house is safe, and you want to keep that reserve, that extra $400,000 that Frank and Mary now have, this is an ideal place to use a reverse mortgage. Not to pull all the equity out of the house, but to pay for those improvements. So I'm going to talk about that. And what I always suggest is, and just two quick things, when, when you're thinking about reverse mortgages, people will say, and it is true, the upfront cost of getting a reverse mortgage is high. We're going to talk about that. But you can roll that into the amount that you're borrowing. The other thing is, as a reverse mortgage, there are no monthly payments on the amount that you owe. Instead, the interest that you would have paid every month simply gets added to the amount of the, that you owe. That's the reason why reverse mortgages grow. So use it as a line of credit. If you're Frank and Mary, don't get a huge reverse mortgage for $200,000 and take out all the money right away. You don't need that money. Leave the rest of the money in there. Leave it as a line of credit so that if you need it later, you can use it. So, to give you, so reverse mortgages. First of all, they are all federally insured. They're called HECA mortgages, Home Equity Conversion Mortgages, H-E-C-M. The rules of, for these mortgages are, federally, are federal rules. And the reason is because all the mortgages are federally guaranteed. The FHA guarantees the bank that even if you live to be 110 and the value of your house plummets so that otherwise the bank would be getting killed if they were trying to get repaid, the federal government will pay them. That's the reason why banks go into this business. But it's also the reason why it's very heavily regulated. So, you know, you see the ads for the reverse mortgages on TV or people may call you. They're all the same. I mean, I hate to say it that way, but they're all the same. They have the same rules because they're all governed by the same regulations. The amount that you can get through the reverse mortgage is based on the age of the youngest borrower, and the youngest borrower has to be 62 or older, uh, the value of your property, because you, you get a reverse mortgage, at, it's a percentage of the value of your property, and that percentage goes up the older that you are, the closer, the, the closer you are to the end of the reverse mortgage period. Um, except that there's a cap. So if you've got a house, in this case, it's worth four, uh, if, if this were, house were worth a million dollars instead of $400,000, the re amount of the reverse mortgage would still be based on a house that is worth only $625,000. This is a big deal when I'm, I just did this presentation in Nantucket. No one has a house that's worth less than $625,000 like in Nantucket. Um, and it's based on current interest rates. But to give you a sense of this, just so you have a sense of it, for a kind of order of magnitude numbers, in this case, if Frank and Mary were 70 years old and they were applying today they, if, with a house with a value of about $400,000, they, they would be entitled to a reverse mortgage from any of these companies, they're all using the same numbers, that has a principal limit of about $245,000. Now, if they were financing that mortgage from the, the mortgage proceeds, that's going to be about their cost, $16,500. That's the upfront points, origination fee, 
the lawyer's fee, the whole, everything. All in is about 16,005. If they decided that they had improvements, as an example, that were worth $40,000, and they were gonna fund all these improvements by getting the reverse mortgage, effectively they'd be borrowing the $40,000 plus the $16,500. They would have a remaining line of credit of about $189,000. And what I'd suggest to Frank and Mary is don't use that. Leave that as your backup in case you need it later on, if you've exhausted your other funds. Just borrow the 40, the 40 and, and the financing costs of the $16,500. So in that situation, they would still have a lot left on the reverse mortgage, and the reverse mortgage would not be growing very much every month, because it would only be growing by the amount equal to the interest on the sixteen five plus the $40,000. It would be the interest on $56,000 a month. If, if you were doing, if you were borrowing $56,000 at 12% interest, your monthly payment would be $560. Don't ask me why, I know this stuff. So, uh, if, if you were borrowing at today's rates, which is about 3%, it would be about one quarter of that amount, or about $125, about $125. So, if you, if, in Frank and Mary's case, this reverse mortgage would only be growing every month by about $125. Um, so, that's a possibility. A second possibility that many people are not aware of is, the Mass is that you can borrow this money from the Mass Commonwealth of Massachusetts. They will lend you up to $30,000, something called the Home Modification Loan Program, if the purpose of the loan is to, is to um, improve the safety of the house for the purpose of helping a person in the house who has disabilities. Uh, in that case, they'll lend you up to $30,000. They'll want a mortgage back, but it can be a second mortgage. It can actually be a mortgage behind one of those reverse mortgages. Uh, if you earn, you, you are entitled to it if, you, if your total income is less than $200,000 of HUD median income. Um, what, but what is that? Well, there it is. For a family of two, if you're Frank and Mary, 100% of median income in Hudson is $75,600. That's a year. 200% is $151,000 a year. How many of you make more than that? So everybody qualifies for these things. If you're the standard Frank and Mary, you're going to qualify. And um, because you make less than 100% of median income, less than $75,000, here are the terms. Uh, by the way, these mortgages, just like the reverse mortgages, are not based on credit worthiness. They don't care. Um, but they're, oh, but you'll get, it'll be a 0% reverse mortgage. So there'll be no interest due on it at all. There'll be no monthly payments, and the loan only gets repaid when you die or when the house gets sold. That's not a bad deal. Once again, these are your tax dollars at work. This gets funded by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts through bonds that they issue, specifically to help you and Frank and Mary stay in your house. So it's, it's, a, it's, it's a wonderful deal. So, brief summary. If Mary's got issues, right, then she and Frank ought to call the Alzheimer's Association to learn something about Alzheimer's, maybe even to participate, by the way, in that trial match program. In the long run, I'm hoping that I'm not going to end up. Well, my mother died in a nursing home. I'm hope, at 81, and I'm hope, and I'm going to be 65 next month. So I'm hoping I'm not going to end up where she was. My oldest brother just got a really, really early stage diagnosis. I'm hope you know. So you know it's coming, right? The way to deal with this in the longer in the in the long run um, is to is through the science of it. And the way to figure out what drug regimen, what treatment regimen is really going to be, help you deal with this in the long run is to find people who've got very, very early stages of dementia to, and to have them participate in drug trials to find out what it is that's going to slow down the deterioration of the brain. That's one of the biggest things the Alzheimer's Association does is they, they have a program called Trial Match where, where you call, you say, I'm willing to participate maybe and then they will tell you what kinds of tests are going on and you can decide whether you want to participate in one of the tests. So, um, get involved in the Alzheimer's Association. Um, get out of the house. Don't hide, as TMU was saying, don't hide. The worst thing you can do is to lose contact with your relatives, your family, your neighbors. Um, um, talk to Bay Path Elder Services. You will be amazed by the programs that are available to you right now, your tax dollars at work. Make your home safe. And if you don't want to write a check out of your savings to do that, then think about a reverse mortgage. And don't forget, the goal of all of this is to sleep well enough.
Thank you very much. Oh, and finally, if you want to see this or any of these shows more than again, or if there's anybody that 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 you think should see this, have them just connect into um, Mary Frank and Mary's uh, YouTube channel, and they can watch it all for free. Thank you very much. Any questions for in, any of us here? Uh, we're all glad to stay around afterwards in case there are. Uh, can I have a quick round of applause for my, my wonderful panelists here? And have a wonderful Thanksgiving and a wonderful holiday, and we'll see you in 2015. Thank you.